you know, it's it's interesting though, because I feel bad because uh Green Green mentioned it to me before. <laughs> We're never gonna get through this podcast, guys. Okay, all right. See you guys later. Have a great day. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. All right, <laughs> GG. <laughs> right, that's, that's the end of the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys know. later. I love you guys. Say groovy on peace out. <laughs> Oh, I, I just imagine like some random dude just popped in the stream like he thought he was late and then he just comes to this out of horror man. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You, you think you think I'm gonna you think I'm gonna end the stream at this uh this uh I this, this late into the stream? You think? Oh wait. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. no. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna treat this to, uh, as an actual podcast. All right. Okay. Yeah. What? How do you how do you treat an actual podcast like a podcast? I don't even know. The, the, the basic concept is mic, speech, <laughs> friendship, podcast, friendship. topic. Friendship, what is that? I don't know. I, I, for me, I think I call it symbiosis, but oh, I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, parasites have a pretty good relationship. Oh, oh yeah, that, that, that's true. That's true. I mean, have you not seen dogs and fleas, bro? They have like the best relationship ever. It's all fun games until they kill each other. <laughs> right, right, especially when like the dogs like fucking bite their balls just to get the fleas off of them. Shit. I mean, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, did you ever get like one of the, did you ever get one of your dogs like those dog collar that says that they're gonna remove the fleas? Oh no. So, uh, for me at least, when it comes to fleas, I make sure that. First of all, I, I, the one thing I hope for is like my neighbors don't have dogs that has been infl- infected with fleas and all that. And second of all, what I do oftenly, or not oftenly, but like once in a while, is like I go to the beach, make my dogs swim and all that, and shower them too with shampoo. Does that actually work? Like sending your dogs to the beach just to get rid of, uh, just to get rid of fleas? Please don't swim. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't swim. Like, bro, I'll never forget the day when MacArthur was only like three months old, but he already had fleas. I stared at my poor dog. I saw the ocean. And then, uh, if you guys know your tech and lore, I pulled a Hayachi and I just tossed him <laughs> in the ocean. But don't worry, he swam back to shore. But I think he became mentally scarred from the ocean because whenever I tried to shower him, he's pretty resistant. So I, I keep telling him, like, I don't blame him, though. <laughs> see, and <laughs> see, here, we, here you are, like, three weeks ago, uh, uh, calling us up, uh, calling me and Dale for killing a rat. And here you are eating your dog. Okay. You killed rats! <laughs> I showered my dogs! I was just very direct on how I do it, though. But you guys killed rats! You heated your dog into the ocean. Hey, hey, dogs can swim. I have faith. Okay, and I will be on our nail cyphers. We did stack like two, four different mouse traps on him. <laughs> <laughs> You know we're not we're, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> I swear. Like, literally, there was like one mouse trap. He's already on the mouse trap. Then we like, side like, okay, we gotta get rid of the other mouse traps. What are we gonna do with it? So we decided, we decided to just like put one on top of it and just drop it on it, and we can see it move and whistle around. <laughs> it's just squeaking. Oh. But yeah, I was Hayachi for for that day. But yeah, and after, and just like that, like MacArthur is a little feisty when it comes to showering. That's why, like, uh, when it, like the, my my joke is, whenever my dogs get shower, I shower too because I have to like use my legs to lock it in place sometimes. <laughs> so like you know if you you know if you're gonna shower your dog, you know you're showering. Oh yeah, I definitely. You're gonna see like some dude 6'2", 170 pounds with boxers like showering with a dog. Yep, that's me. That's my life. That's, Every like couple months or so. That's basically your MMA training right there. Exactly. <laughs> And then my dogs, man, they have the cutest eyes ever. But when they see the holes, bro, their eyes get big. <laughs> they're like, shit. They just like, take you to Lottie Bill and then like, we'll party with some, with some random guy. And, and <laughs> All right, uh, you fight him. All right, see what you can do. You just start now to do a stake down method on your nothing. Like, go for a single leg transition to a fucking ankle lock. Oh, no. <laughs> you're, you're and like, then I'm going to scream, where's the hose? Where's the hose? <laughs> I got to shower this guy right here. <laughs> Like the poor people, like he listening to the whole thing, watching in horror what's going on. I feel like poor people just like there for their weekly workout routine. You say, "Oh, holes."
I swear, if, any, if anyone's working at Larry Belt, I, I, I have no recollection of this. Uh, don't, don't please, please, please do not cancel my membership. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm a good boy. I need the kickboxing class. <laughs> just a little disclaimer: if if you guys want to shower your dogs, just condition them early. I made the mistake of giving my dogs an innate fear of the ocean a little too early when they're young. So now look at me. I'm being the next fucking Habib Nurmagomedov fucking wrestling my dogs <laughs> to some mission so they can shower. Again, I, I do not condone wrestling your dogs just to like tame them. But again, you guys can always like teach them early just to so they can like learn how to shower and all that. But please do not show them the ocean too early. Don't be me who tosses them in there. I made that mistake too I, early. I would think I would think though that do- that dogs would like the ocean. Yeah, they do. It's just that it's how you introduce them. To them. <laughs> because like uh, my dad simply told me, "Boy, these dogs are natural swimmers. Just throw them in the ocean." And I was like, "Like toss them? Yeah." And I had to remind myself I was like I was already in the middle of the lagoon too, carrying like MacArthur when he was only a couple weeks old. I told him like, "You sure did?" Yeah. Boy, boy, it's like the you know when the the cow is born. When it's born, it can walk. So when your dog is born, it can swim. I'm like, wait a minute, Dad. It doesn't make sense. Boy, 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 you're too much talk. Drop the dog. So I tossed my dog in the ocean. In the ocean. I thought McCarthy was gonna drown, but through the miracle and the grace of God, he was swimming. Not towards me all the way. He was just swimming for land, man. That dog did not want to go to the ocean anymore. So yeah. <laughs> So, it's spit of the like, the top of the ocean now. And, and yeah, so that's the story how my dogs hated water. <laughs> you, you, you just made some hydrophobic dogs. <laughs> they, they can still like lick water perfectly fine, but like when it comes to like being drenched in it, they hate it. So like you just imagine that if it's raining on the wrong, on like a random 